Hey guys, I want to show you how to have some fun and make some gold using mining and herbalism. Let's get into it. So The War Within is a very alt-friendly expansion, which I'm enjoying a lot so far. But I've seen some people ask, how do you fund your characters with enough gold? Um, because the game sadly doesn't give you a lot of passive income. Uh, you got to find a couple ways to, to earn some gold on your own. So we're going to show you one of the tried and true ways through gathering, but we're going to make it simple and we're going to make it fun. So first things first, we got to learn herbalism and mining and you got to come to Dornigal and I'll show you guys where I am on the map. This is for herbalism. We are in the foregrounds. I'll zoom in a little bit. There's my arrow. You want to look for the building with the, uh, the trees and plants all around it. And as we walk inside, there will be an herbalism trainer. The core way this must is where we train our herbalism. Protected. Now, both the herbalism and mining trainers will have weekly quests that you can do. And you want to make sure you do them. They're very easy. May uh, as for example, you far. the herbalism guy here this week, he wants me to gather three lure drops. Now I could go pick those myself. I could even buy those off the auction house and turn it in really fast. And you want to do it because uh, you will gain knowledge points and skill up your your herbalism and mining. So always important to do the weekly quests. And here is the mining trainer. I'll show you on the map. Zoom in a little bit. There's my arrow. We're sort of in this uh, little quarry in the corner here. And here's the mining trainer. Initiated. And this is where you learn mining. And Faith like I said, he has order. a weekly quest as well. We must this week he wants me to gather both. 10 iron claw ore. Easy enough. May the titans. Okay, so once you've learned mining and herbalism, you can click the professions button down here. And you'll see we now have access to our herbalism journal and our mining journal. So I'll bring up our herbalism journal just as an example. And if you haven't gathered in a long time, if you're just coming back to the game in a long time, they've totally reworked this and it's a little more complex and confusing, but it's not that bad. And I'll try and make it pretty simple here. Um, you definitely want to read through your journals. Um, it gives you information pertaining to each herb and your skills and stats involved with picking each herb. You can also refine herbs and ore, which basically means you can take a bunch of a lower quality herb and refine it into a higher quality herb, which is kind of cool. Um, so yes, yeah, gathering stats. There's four main stats now, and I'll quickly explain them. So your skill, your skill increases the quality of the items you gather. So pretty self-explanatory. Deafness is going to increase your gathering speed. Finesse uh, gives you a chance to gather more of a particular reagent. And perception increases your ability to occasionally loot a rare reagent, which is also pretty cool. Um, so those are all the, the stats and they're all pretty good. You want them all. So the next thing I want to point out and go over is if you look at the bottom of our journal here, you'll see we have a specializations tab and both herbalism and mining have three different talent specializations. Um, but the cool thing is, is that you can max out all three trees. So it's not that bad. Uh, but I guess it can be a little subjective when starting out. Um, one thing I do want to point out is that the middle tree in both mining and herbalism, uh, for herbalism here, it's botany. If you max out botany, you'll be able to pick herbs while mounted, which is a huge quality of life upgrade. Um, same thing for mining. If you max out mining fundamentals, you'll be able to mine ore while mounted. So that's something to think about. Uh, for for something you might want to fill out first when when gathering. Um, oh, I do want to point out, if you're a druid with flight form, you can already pick herbs while mounted in flight form, I guess. And if you have a sky golem mount, you can also already uh, pick herbs while while using this mount, which is kind of neat. So uh, so yeah, there are three talent trees, and you want to start filling them out and the last thing I want to show you guys in both the mining and herbalism journals is that there's three slots up in the top right corner uh, 
you have room for one tool and two accessories and you definitely want this stuff so as an example for my herbalism here i have a sickle and my accessories are a gardening hat and a basket for mining my tool is a pickaxe and my accessories are a miner's headgear and a miner's hoard and this stuff is basically just going to increase your skill increase your stats and just make you more proficient in, in gathering here now you can go to the auction house and buy some green uh tools and accessories right off the bat and i recommend you do that i think you can get better tools and um accessories through crafting which i haven't done yet but um that would definitely be something you want to look into because tools and accessories do make a big difference. If you come to the crafting order station, um, you can look under profession equipment and herbalism for an example, and you can see you can craft uh, some nice, nice tools and accessories. So something to think about. All right, next we're going to go to the auction house. Direct, we're going to buy a vial of true sight. Now there's three different qualities to choose from. Um, looks like the silver quality is not too bad, 85 gold. And this is a good potion because it's going to allow us to find extra mining and herb nodes, which is always good. Um, so I'm going to buy one of these. It lasts for 30 minutes. All right, we are nearly there. The last thing to do uh, is to download two different add-ons and this is really going to make things simple and it's going to make gathering a lot of fun. So the first add-on I want you to download is simply called routes and I'll show you what it is. If you look at my map here, this is the Isle of Dorne. You guys see this like orange line that sort of goes through the perimeter of, of the map here. That is one of my farming routes. And there's also a smaller green line that goes through a smaller portion of the zone, uh, which is a smaller gathering route. Um, and I found these routes online and using the routes add on, you're able to copy and paste, uh, you know, other people's routes into the game. So I'll leave a link to the website where I found a bunch of routes for the new expansion and to import a route, Simply type slash routes, and then on the left hand side here, I have routes selected, and you would just copy the import string right into this box, hit accept, and you should have the route. So it's it's really pretty simple. And the second add-on I want you to download is called Farm HUD, and this is pretty neat. It adds a little button on the mini map up here and when you click it it takes the mini map and displays it in the center of your screen as sort of like a, a hud slash radar and it may look a little weird at first but uh it's actually pretty intuitive and after a couple minutes you'll get the hang of it it's uh it's really gonna make gathering easy it's gonna eliminate uh the need to constantly glance up at the mini map to look for nodes it eliminates eye strain. It um, tells you all the information you need to know in the center of your screen. So you really don't have to uh, try or think that hard, um, which is pretty cool. And I'll show you guys how it works. So I'm taking off from Dornigal here. I'll fly to uh, this orange route, right? And as you can see, as I fly, you see different things fly across the HUD. Um, but we're approaching my route. You see the route come up? It's that orange line. And then I can just sort of start following it. And you guys see like little leaf and ore uh, icons fly across the screen. You simply just need to guide these to your little arrow in the center there. And it takes you straight to all the ore and all the herbs. Like check it out. Here's a piece of ore. Right here. Landed right on it. <laughs> There's a herb above me. It looks like a special herb. Here it is. Crystallized Myco Bloom. I'm in a, a shredder mount, so I'm able to uh, pick herbs while I'm mounted. 
piece of ore over here. There it is. So it's it's super convenient. And also, let's see if I can point this out to you guys. For for this herb right here, you notice how it has a small silver arrow pointing up? It tells me that the herb is above me. And if we look right on top of this pillar here, there it is. It's above me. So it does have some uh, depth perception too, which is uh, really nice. You know, whether you need to fly up or fly down. And uh, yeah, this is something I've done for the past month or so pretty casually. Um, at the start of the expansion, this was super lucrative. Prices were sky high and you could make a small fortune doing this. Um, lately, prices have been coming down and have been evening out. Uh, but this is still a nice way to support your characters and you definitely can support your characters doing this. You're not gonna get super rich or anything uh, doing this, but um, you're definitely gonna have a, a source of income that's sort of super chill and easy to do. And it's actually pretty fun to uh, to skill up and rank up your your mining and herbing. Um, a couple things I wanna point out. You can do this to level from 70 to 80. I know a couple friends that this is all they did to level. They just uh, picked up mining and herbing, and they uh, they did it all the way to 80, and they made a bunch of gold doing it. And it was a pretty simple, chill way to level. Um, I also like to turn on war mode when I'm doing this, not because there's a lot of PvP. Uh, it's actually pretty chill. A lot of people, every now and then, I come across a fight for a node or something, but. For the most part, people avoid each other. Um, but if there's like a world quest I want to do, I'll go ahead and complete it with war mode on. It will also award me with um, bloody tokens with war mode turned on. So, so that's awesome. And uh, every now and then, in any of the war within zones, you'll be flying around and a chest will spawn and uh sort of like a little pvp event and everyone fights for the chest and uh if you win the chest you get uh some bloody tokens some conquest some honor uh it's pretty cool as well so there's a bunch of things uh you can do as you're flying around gathering that uh i don't know just sort of add to the fun um but yeah you guys can sort of see how it works and uh, hope you guys give it a try and uh, it's a good way to support your characters as you play this new expansion. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.